Hey guys, welcome to Nichols Retirement Empire. Today, I am going to replace the passenger side mirror on my 2020 Ford F-150 um, XL. And I have a confession to make to you guys. Look at that. Ah, my passenger side mirror hit that tree right over there as I was backing up that boat back there. So I call up Ford. This has been a while. It's been a long time ago. So I call up my Ford dealer and I'm like, hey, I need a I need to get a mirror for my passenger side door. And they're like, ah, oh, we don't know if we can get that. It's gonna take months and months and months. And I and you know, but I said, well let's go ahead and order one for me. And so I waited and waited and waited and never heard anything. And so finally I said, I'm just going to see if I can get one online. So I did. And I found a company called Car ID. Let me make sure it's right. Yeah, Car ID. And um, I ordered my part from them. And I'm going to tell you what. I got this thing in the mail like in two or three days. <laughs> so I have been waiting months and months and months. I got it from them almost immediately. So I want to see if I can get this thing installed. It should be pretty straightforward and pretty easy, I hope. So here is the replacement mirror that they sent me. And it got here very quickly. Like I said, it, the, the, their site, Car ID, uh, their site was very easy to use. It was very easy to identify the part that I needed for my particular truck. So if you're looking for any kind of, um, you know, aftermarket item, uh, I would recommend that. Of course, you save yourself a lot of money going with the after item product, and it's going to look just like the other one. So, and, you know, I'm not particularly a guy that really is really concerned about what his truck looks like, which is obvious, uh, easy to tell by this tape job that I did on this. But I had to have something so I could keep from having a wreck out there on the road. So... This was my answer temporarily, and I was getting worried. I'm like, you know, this is only going to last so long. From what I understand, uh, this can just be pried off right here. It's just held on by some clips, so let's get a pry tool and pop that off. If I can pop this off, there you go. You can see how these pieces are made here. They just fit into these. So you can just pop that out really easy. I scratched a little bit there, but it'll be covered once I get that back on. So I have this that needs to be pulled out. Okay, here we go. All right, guys. So what you do is you push that in there and that allows it to pop out. Okay. So you saw me, I was trying to figure that out. So it's not even a guy that doesn't even know what he's doing can push that in, push that little piece in there and this pops right out. And I have a little piece that uh, holds it onto this screw. So I'll pull that loose right there. All right, so we gotta take these. Looks like just these two. Let's look on the mirror. It has it has four holes there so let's see if there are oh these two right here okay so there's two there and then two here all right so this is a 10 millimeter These are also 10 millimeters. I think that's loose. Oh yeah. All right. The 
way this mirror is made it does not have the bolts right there that you just screw it on with like this other mirror does so i'm gonna have to get some bolts to screw into this mirror to hold it in place okay i'm back picked these up at the ace hardware so that added 20 minutes on the time it took to do this which would not have taken any time at all had i not had to go do that if i'd have known about that ahead of time but that's fine just to add a dollar 47 on to the like 280 or 290 bucks that this mirror cost so let's line this dude up okay so i'm just going to use this for these because i can't reach it with the uh with the other tool this reaches it fine now I believe that this apparently is not going to go any further in there a spacer or something because i don't want to go buy another okay i'm gonna try these this uh spacer right here on it Okay, plug this dude in. Now, let's check. Let's see, mirror. There you go. It is working. It's nice and clean. A lot cleaner than that mirror, I'll tell you what. glad that worked don't wreck your don't smash your mirror that's the first thing but if you do car i'd be be prepared to spend about 300 bucks and be prepared for you may have to make some adjustments with the hardware which shouldn't be that big a deal and this should pop right back into place there we go thanks for watching Nichols retirement empire guys see you later